day 76, Salt With You. Hi everyone, I'm Meg. Welcome to Salt With You. I'd like to introduce you to you our two very mischievous dogs, Juniper and Bonnie. Our dogs are delightful, however, they live in a permanent state of trying to get to the other side of the gate. Uh, it doesn't matter which gate, they just are in a perpetual state of seeking freedom beyond the confines of the yard and the lovely home they get to live in. Which means that we're sometimes chasing them around the neighborhood, picking them up from various places because they've worked out an ingenious way to escape. Um, but as I was thinking about uh, Bonnie and Junie and loving the fact that they think the grass is greener somehow on the other side of the fence, even though they're getting more walks every day, um, through the COVID crisis than they've ever had, it seems to increase their quest for what's beyond the fence line. And I don't know if that's been a little bit like you through these last couple of months, but I feel like it's been a bit like me all the time. There's this constant sense of dissatisfaction that we can live with that when we're not learning to be satisfied and joyful in the circumstances that we get to live in. And I know sometimes there's something healthy about pushing forward and pushing beyond the boundaries and pushing beyond the barriers that surround our life. But there's also something really beautiful and really healthy about being thankful for all the things that we do have. Uh, and so I just wanted to ask you that question. What are you thankful for today? You know, the Bible is actually full of God giving us instruction to rejoice, to be thankful in all circumstances, to come before him with thanksgiving, because there's actually a key in that. There's a key to our joy. There's a key to our freedom, and there's a key to lifelong satisfaction. If we can learn to be content with lack or with a lot, we can learn to be content in the circumstances that we're in by finding joy in the small things around about us. So today I really want to encourage you this week, this weekend, start to look around about your life for the things that you can wake up and be thankful for. We can be thankful for the sunrise every single morning. I'm thankful that I can get out of bed every single morning, sometimes with aches and pains, but hey, I get out of bed. I get to get up and make myself breakfast and go for a walk. I live in a beautiful nation. I have amazing people around my life. Yes, life is hard sometimes, but I really want to encourage you like me. I'm encouraging myself right now. Let's be thankful for all the amazing things that are already in our world and already in our lives and give joy, the joy in our heart to God for the life that we have before us. Thanks guys, have a great week.